Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Gems of Knowledge. So I'm here with another video on exercise 1.3 from the number system that is of class 9th. So already we have solved the three questions. Okay. And today we are going to solve the fourth question which is related to the third question. So if you are unaware how to solve the third question, you can check out my channel. The link is given into the description box. The complete playlist of the number system is given onto the given in the description box you can check it out so let's start our question so before starting make sure to subscribe to my channel and also click on the bell button to get the notification as soon as i post my new videos so here you can see the fourth question which is given as express 0 0.99999 and so on they have given it is in the form of p by q okay express this in the form of p by q are you surprised by your answer after getting the answer we have to identify whether we are surprised by our answer with your teacher and classmates discuss why the answer makes sense okay so we have to make this into the p by q form so the complete third one question where three options were given it is also based on this form only and we are going to repeat this into the same form so let us see what we have to do here so first it is given as we will take this as x which is given to us 0 0.9999 and 9 so and so on this is your, our equation 1 so as you can see here after after point only one number is present okay you can see here it can be written as 0 0.999 can be written as 0 0.9 with a bar okay it means after point we are having only one number so what we will do is we will multiply this with equation 1 with 10 so it will become 10 x into 10 it will become 10 x which is equals to when you multiply this whole number with 10 it will become 9.9999 and so on so we will consider this as our equation 2 next what we need to do is we need to subtract equation 2 by 1 so what we are getting 10x minus x if we are doing we will get 10x minus 1x we are getting 9x which is equals to we need to subtract this 9 minus 0 we are getting 9 and 9 minus 9 0 0 0 0 0 so we are getting 9.0000 okay so this will be our okay so we are getting basically we got 9x is equals to 9 we got 0 0.000 means it is 9 itself so you are getting x is equals to 9 by 9 9 ones are 9 and 9 ones are 9 so you got the answer as x is equals to 1 so you got the answer to be as x is equals to 1 so they are asking us are you surprised by this we were having 0 0.9999 so on and we got the answer in the p by q form as 1 by 1 okay so with your teacher and classmate discuss why the answer make the sense so we have to discuss why the answer we got we got the answer like this okay so you can see here 0 0.9999 when you make it a round figure it is nearer very 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 nearer to 1 isn't it 0 0.9999 means it is nearly equal to 1 so we can say that x we got the answer to be as x is equals to 1 okay so you can write because um 0 0.9999 so on this is very much closer to 1 and if we round off this number we are going to get 1 itself okay so this was the fourth one answer so let's move on to the fifth one answer so the question is given as what can the maximum number of digits be in the repeating block of digits in the decimal expansion of 1 by 17 so we have to find out the decimal expansion of 1 by 17 how much maximum number of digits will be present so they have given us perform the division to check your answer we need to divide this 1 by 17 and we have to check after how many numbers we are getting the number as repeat 
ओके सो फॉर दैट रीजन आई हैव रिटर्न हियर सेवेंटीन वन द टेबल फॉर आवर इजी एक्सेस सो लेट अस क्विकली स्टार्ट टू डिवाइड दिस सो वन विल बी इनसाइड एंड सेवेंटीन विल बी आउटसाइड सो एज यू कैन सी वन इज द स्मॉलेस्ट नंबर एंड इट कैन नॉट बी डिवाइडेड बाय सेवेंटीन यू नीड टू एड वन जीरो आफ्टर एडिंग वन जीरो वॉट यू आर गोइंग टू डू इज जीरो विथ अ पॉइंट यू आर गोइंग टू टेक ओके and you can see again this 10 is again smaller than 17 so what you are going to do we will take one more zero now it became 100 so the nearest number which is divisible by 17 here is 1 not 2 we cannot divide because here we are having 100 and here we cannot take 1 not 2 so what we will take we will take 17 fiza 85 Okay, so as you have added one more zero here, you need to add one more zero, and we will start seventeen five za eighty five. Okay, okay. What is left here? Here five is left. Here from here you have taken one, so here nine is left. Nine minus eight is one. You got fifteen, which is again smaller than seventeen. So you are going to add one more zero, and the nearest number to this is. One thirty six seventeen eight za. You are getting one thirty six. So one thirty six means here ten. Ten minus six is four, and here one will be, sorry four will be remaining from here. You have taken one here, so here four will be remaining. Four minus three is one. Again, you got fourteen here, which is again smaller. So you need to take one more zero here. Okay. So after taking one more zero, one forty means again eight za one thirty six. You are getting okay. So what is remaining? One thirty six. You are getting again. So it will be left with four. Four with one zero. If you are adding, it becomes forty. So nearest number will be thirty four seventeen two za thirty four. You are getting. So thirty forty minus thirty four, you are going to get six. Okay, then again you will take zero and seventeen three za fifty one, you are getting seventeen three za fifty one, you are getting and nine will be remaining. Again you are going to put zero nine means seventeen five za eighty five. Again you are getting five seventeen five za eighty five means you are going to get five remaining. Again, you are putting zero. Okay, so fifty means here fifty one is there. This is not possible. So you are going to take thirty four. So seventeen two is a thirty four. Thirty four means here it will be ten. Ten minus four is six. And from here you have taken one here. So here four will be remaining. Four minus three is one. Okay, so we'll divide here. Sixteen is there. Okay, so I'll continue here division part. Okay, sixteen cannot be divided again by seventeen. Again, you are going to add one zero, so it became one sixty. So the smallest number here, less than one sixty, is one fifty three. So seventeen nine za here we will write seventeen nine za one fifty three. Okay, so seven will be remaining. Again, you are going to take a zero. Seven means here sixty eight. You are getting. Seventeen four za sixty eight. You are getting so remaining will be two. Again, you will put one zero and seventeen one za seventeen. You are getting so remaining will be three. Again, put a zero. Again, seventeen one za seventeen. You are getting remaining will be here ten. Ten minus seven is three. And two minus one is one. Again, you are going to put one thirty. One thirty means seventeen seven za hundred and nineteen. Seventeen seven za hundred and nineteen. You are getting okay. One hundred and nineteen means ten minus nine is one. Here two minus one is one, and one minus one will be zero. So you got eleven. Again, you are going to put one zero. So hundred and ten you got. So the smallest number here is seventeen six za one not two. So you are getting one not two means you are getting eight. Okay, again you are putting one more zero and eight means here seventeen four za sixty eight. 
सो सेवेंटीन फोर जा सिक्सटी एट यू आर गेटिंग सिक्सटी एट मीन्स यूर टेन माइनस एट इज टू एंड सेवन माइनस सिक्स इज वन टूवेल्व यू गॉट देन अगेन यू आर गोइंग टू पुट वन जीरो देन सेवेंटीन सेवन जा हंड्रेड एंड नाइनटीन सेवेंटीन सेवन जा हंड्रेड एंड नाइनटीन यू गॉट नाउ यू आर लेफ्ट विथ वन सो दिस इज द स्टेप वेर यू हैव स्टार्टेड वन डिवाइडेड बाय सेवेंटीन सो ह्योर फाइनली यू गॉट द स्टेप टू बी एज वन सो आफ्टर हाउ मेनी नंबर्स यू आर गेटिंग वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट नाइन टेन लेवन ट्वेल्व थर्टीन फोर्टीन फिफ्टीन सिक्सटीन सेवेंटीन सो ह्योर द स्टेप्स इन्वॉल्व आर सेवेंटीन ओके सो ह्योर द क्वेश्चन इज बीन गिवन वॉट कैन द मैक्म नंबर ऑफ डिजिट्स बी इन द रिपीटिंग ब्लॉक ऑफ डिजिट्स इन द डेसिमल ऑफ एक्सपांशन सो आफ्टर सेवेंटीन नंबर्स यू विल गेट द रिपीटिंग नंबर विच इज वन ओके आई होप दिस क्वेश्चन इज क्लियर so we'll solve the next question into my next video so till then don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel i'll be back soon with another video so till then stay tuned and stay connected thank you